Hello everyone, welcome to another Rapido Trains UK video. Those of you that have read our newsletter will know that Rapido Trains UK now has a home. We are have taken a little unit in Staplehurst in Kent um, and we hope in the future to be able to open it up and have occasional open days here for you guys to come and visit, see all the latest products uh, and all that sort of stuff. Until then, um, Jason had the bright idea of making a little video so that we can show you guys around, show you what we do here and give you a little tour of the place. Well, here we are everyone. This is uh, Rapido Trains UK HQ. Uh, we're in uh, just outside of the, uh, the town of Staplehurst, quite literally behind us uh, and over that field is the, uh, the main line railway between Tunbridge and Ashford. Uh, and just off to our right, uh, a couple of hundred yards, is Staplehurst Station. So nicely connected, lovely little unit we've got. Uh, basically allows us to get on and do what we're doing. So let's go and have a look around inside. Now, we wouldn't be Rapido, of course, if we weren't a little bit geeky and doing a little bit of railway stuff. So of course, uh, as soon as you get inside, first thing you've got to see is our little mock train interior. Um, we weren't going to let Jason get away being the only person with it. Um, I've collected some bits and pieces along the years and uh, couldn't really uh, resist the opportunity. So we've got a pair of uh, first class Mark 1 seats out of an FK along with the, uh, the lights. Of course, got a proper locomotive in the, uh, the carriage print next door and a, and a little table. Somewhere nice to sit and have lunch or uh, wait while people are picking up their models and stuff. Usual bits and pieces as well, some uh, display cabinets with some models in, uh, all the latest bits and pieces and things we're working on, and a, a few things from the past and uh, from our sister company over in Canada. So moving into the unit, uh, we've got the usual sort of facilities at the far end, um, a little kitchenette next door, and then we turn our right hand turn and we come into the main uh, part of the building. So the first thing we've got is the uh, the big goods in out area. So this is where, you know, seven, ten pallets worth of goods arrive from, uh, from China off the back of a lorry. We then sort them out, quality check them uh, and get them ready for uh, onward shipment to uh, our retailers and, and, and new our customers. Of course, again, it wouldn't be repeated if we weren't geeky. So in our goods warehouse, we do have a Network Southeast station bench. Yep, we are properly geeky. We also have this lovely cupboard. Now the cupboard is affectionately known as the TARDIS. It's larger on the inside than it is on the outside, and this is where all of Jason's toys, sorry, sorry, collectible Doctor Who figures, uh, end up going before we post them onto him uh, in Canada. You would not believe how many he buys. So coming into the unit, uh, we'll do the most important bit first, the kitchen. Doesn't do very much at the moment, but uh, it, uh, it looks after the, uh, the two of us who are working here on a regular basis and uh, gives us something to make tea and coffee and, uh, and munch on biscuits, uh, something Richard is very good at. The warehouse is racked out, of course, to take uh, a whole load of different products. Of course, at the moment, we've got uh, Guy Arabs and Fleet Lines in stock. Uh, some of the Fleet Lines have sold out. Guy Arabs we've got plenty of, so do make sure you place your orders for those uh, fairly quickly. Of course, we stacked all of these by uh, their SKU number, so we know how many we've got for uh, stock control purposes and such like. Um, there's, a, there's a fair few in here still. Um, probably um, the vast majority of the orders have gone out, but there's uh, still a, a few left of the fleet lines and such like. Obviously, this was a lot fuller two weeks ago when they first arrived. Then coming into uh, the packing area. So down here, we've got Steve working away. Uh, give us a little wave, Steve. There we go. Um, this is where we pack everything, um, make sure it's all ready to go out, box it all up, put it into boxes, tape it all up, make sure the address is on it, ready for uh, sending off to uh, your lovely customers. So we'll leave, leave Steve packing away there. And we'll go for a little wander upstairs. Now up here is where all the secret stuff happens. We'll come back to the goods office in a moment. At the moment though, up here is uh, fairly empty. We've got some racking that uh, we're waiting for some chipboard shelving on. Um, I'm gonna be honest, down the far end, there's a load of my stuff being stored at the moment while I'm doing some decorating at home. And then uh, over here, these are all the warranty models, spare parts, um, bits and pieces that uh, are coming with our shipment that we then store to make sure we're in the right place. Uh, sample models, you name it, uh, it's uh, sort of sat here if we've got it. So, heading back towards the office. Now, on the wall are a few things now. Who wouldn't want one of these for their layout? I mean, oof, look at that. Trundling around that lovely red livery. Or, oh, yep, yep, you all want one, I know you do. 
So this is the office. Uh, again, uh, this is where I spend a lot of my day. Um, there's a lot of space in here for doing uh, all the planning, all the financial stuff, all the fairly boring things. Um, again, whiteboard with the uh, all important things to do on it and an artwork uh, inspired by my, uh, or completed by my uh, two-year-old daughter on her last visit. Uh, we also have a little warranty bench, uh, somewhere to do some uh, bits and pieces of work as we're working on things, uh, repairs, that sort of stuff. And likewise, a, uh, another secret project. Ooh, look at that. Yep, we like that. Uh, that is pretty much about it, really, to a degree. We have uh, a few other bits and pieces, obviously with my, uh, my little desk space here and computer. Um, nothing else of note, really, unless you're into Lego, of course, in which case, uh, dotted around the place, there are the odd couple of Lego models that uh, I have built myself. Um, and that's about all of it, really. Well, there's not a huge amount else to show you. We, uh, we look forward to being able to open the doors in the future. We, uh, we really look forward to being having, oh, look at that again. But yeah, we uh, look forward to uh, seeing you all in the future, uh, having a little open day. We hope you've enjoyed a little look round. Uh, take care and we will see you all uh, soon.